everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see lots more videos from me and I have a giveaway coming up next month in the beginning of July so you want to be subscribed for that. Oh my god guys by the way I'm wearing my avocado t-shirt. I love this. I got it from Zara last year so they probably don't have it but like how cool is this? So like thumbs up if you love avocados. Uh, and in today's video, we are making some healthy summer like party food that you could have. If you're having friends over, you're having a summer party, you really wanna go eat them like right now, so I wanna finish this intro. So let's keep it short and I get into it. So the first thing we are making are these melon dips, kind of like pop things. So I'm starting off with some watermelon, of course, and I was so lucky to find one that was nice and dark red. I think they're finally coming into season more, so I'm so excited. So I'm just cutting that up into circles and then cutting that up into little triangle shapes. And if you want, you can also use popsicle sticks to make them more like pops that you can hold, but I just find that using your hands works well. And then I melted some dairy-free chocolate in the microwave in 30 second intervals until it is smooth and added one tablespoon of coconut oil to kind of help it harden and help it like solidify around the watermelon. And then place that on a lined plate and I'm putting some chopped peanuts on top. You can do another kind of nut. I'm also doing some coconut and also some sea salt. The sea salt one is so good because it's like sweet and salty. Really yummy and this is how they turned out. They're such a great easy snack to make. Super yummy and I just keep them in the freezer until I'm ready to eat them and they're so so good. Next up, what party would this be without some guacamole? If you're like me, you're obsessed with guacamole and avocados in general, hence the t-shirt, but this wouldn't be a party for me anyways without some guacamole, so I'm showing you guys my favorite recipe. So I'm using two avocados that I'm just scooping out, and you wanna look for ripe ones. If they're not ripe yet, kind of wait for them to ripen on your countertop or put them in a brown paper bag. And then I'm chopping up a red onion and I'm only using half of an onion because I don't like too much onion in my guac. But if you like more onion in your guac, you know, feel free to add some more in there. But I think half a small one is really good. And then I'm putting in one clove of garlic and then I'm going to roll out my lime to kind of release the juices and I'm going to cut that in half. You can also use like the lime juice that comes in like that lime thing that you buy or you can use fresh either way but I really like the fresh one squeezing that in and then I'm using half of a Roma tomato the Roma ones are like the small ones that are kind of like a oblong shape putting in a couple handfuls of cilantro and a sprinkle of sea salt and then I'm just blending that up until it's smooth and putting that into a little cute serving bowl. And how cute is this bowl? I got it at Kitchen Stuff Plus. And then I'm using these Benito bean chips. These are my favorite. They've got 10 grams of protein, really clean ingredients, and they're grain free, which is amazing. They're just made with beans. So good and such a great thing to kind of snack on at a party. I'm making another salty snack and that is Dorito popcorn. So I'm starting off with just some skinny pop popcorn, which is like a healthy popcorn, but you can totally pop your own at home and throwing on some no salt taco seasoning. And this is what's gonna make it taste like Doritos. Tossing that up and you kind of get like a taco Dorito flavored type popcorn, but you don't have like fake chemicals or anything like that because it's just seasoning on popcorn. It's really quick and a great little snack to kind of have at any kind of a party or a get together and it's super yummy as well. Of course, we need to make some sort of drink, so I'm making this peach rosemary iced tea. This is delicious. I first tried something like this at Whole Foods, but it was like a peach rosemary lemonade, but I'm omitting the sugar and just doing a iced tea. So I got this peach tea, but you can buy whatever kind of peach tea that you like, and adding in a few sprigs of rosemary, and then adding in some hot water so that we can steep it and we get all the flavors. Once that is steeped, I'm just going to chill that and add some additional rosemary. And I picked up these straws and these fun frozen like ice cubes that you can use to keep drinks cool but like not water it down. And I think this makes such a cute little party thing with the flamingo and the ice cubes. It's really cute and it's like a really fun iced tea without it being just like your basic iced tea. Super, super yummy. So this is how the party food turned out. I think the spread looks amazing. We got sweet, salty, 
it's so delicious so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you try these okay guys i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you're gonna make some of these because they're so good i think i even like like the watermelon one better than those banana treats that i've made that you can also buy at trader joe's so watermelon might be the new banana um, and yeah i hope you guys are all having a fabulous day and i will see you in my next video bye guys